Okay, so inciting the dangerous conditions inside jails, a support group for the families of political prisoners is calling for the inclusion of PDLs in the vaccine priority list. Kapatid spokesperson Fides Lim said PDLs have a high risk of getting infected since the Philippines has among the most congested prisons in the world. In a letter, Yusek Mirna Kabotahe of the Health Department insisted that PDLs qualify under priority B of the vaccine list. The group also appealed for authorities to give humanitarian considerations to sick and elderly PDLs. By the end of 2020, 780 cases have been reported inside the New Belibid prison. Um, currently, it has 19 cases, two of which are personnel, while the rest are PDLs. Almost 30 PDLs have died last year, all of them with comorbidities. Um, Corrections Bureau spokesperson Gabriel Chaklag said, it's possible that uh, PDLs contracted the virus due to prison congestion and the general poor situation inside cells. Although he insisted um, they are implementing strict hygiene protocols in the new believed prisons and they isolate probable cases immediately. Face masks are also being provided. And John W. Kerr has allowed the limited visit of um, religious groups and other groups providing psychosocial services to inmates. But personal visits from relatives are still being prohibited. Inmates can virtually visit them, though, through the electronic dalaw. Sean? All right, Jen, just one question. Are we soon or can we expect uh, PDLs or persons deprived of liber liberty to be moved up in the vaccine priority list? Right now they're in B2. So could there be a chance that they will move up in the, in the list? Yes, so according to uh, the Department of Health, the uh, PDA, PDLs are included in the priority list B4. Uh, not B9, as earlier um, reported, um, the government has not released the sched for the inoculations of this uh, PDL in the priority B. But um, basically, they are saying that um, we should finish finish first the uh, inoculation for the priority A before proceeding to the next priority list. Sean. All right. Thank you so much for that update from Malabon City. That was Jen Kalimon joining us live. Stay safe, Jen.